Spring is a great time to get out in your backyard, starting that native landscaping. It's also a time to find those invasive species that are popping up. Oftentimes, invasive species are the first ones to green up in the spring, so you'll be able to see them in your backyard. So you just wanna make sure to remove them out of the landscape before putting native plants back in. Invasive species, as we know, don't belong here. They came from somewhere else and were introduced in. Our native plants do belong here and they offer several benefits, including food for wildlife, habitat, and also um, for pollinator species. So one of the species that pops up um, early in the spring is called garlic mustard. And this little plant below me is garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is a biennial plant. It grows in two different um, growth stages. So it first produces this basil rosette that we see here. Um, later in the spring, it'll produce a long shoot that comes up and that will have the seeds on it. So at that point in time, we wanna make sure that that is removed so that the seeds do not spread. So you want to make sure that when you're removing this plant, you wanna get the whole root system underneath it. So you're simply going to pinch your fingers around the base of the plant and gently lift it up, trying to gather as many roots as you can. And this is the garlic mustard plant, um, the basil rosette, and then it'll eventually have the, the seeds that shoot up later in the season. So after you've removed the garlic mustard plants, what you're gonna wanna do is put them in a trash can. So you're going to want to pull out the entire root system, um, making sure that you don't just get the top green part of the plant, and you wanna put it in in a trash bag because it can replant itself. If I were to throw this back down on the ground, once it rains, these roots can regroup themselves. So we do not want that. We want to put them in a trash can, throw them away, and that's the best way to get rid of garlic mustard.